everyone welcome back to the channel so today in this video lecture we'll be solving this problem longest happy prefix so this is a string problem and in this problem we are given a string and a string is called a happy prefix if it is a non empty prefix which is also a suffix okay that is a happy prefix now given a string s we have to return the longest happy prefix of s that is return an empty string if there is no such prefix okay so we have to return the longest happy prefix of s or we can also say it's sim it's similar to saying longest proper prefix okay that is the longest prefix which is also a suffix so let's better understand the problem statement using an example so let's take this example here in this case we are given this string a b a b a b and the longest prefix which is also a suffix is this a b a b we can see that a b a b is a is a prefix a b a b is also a suffix so the length of the longest happy prefix is 4 or we can also say it is the longest proper prefix now as we know that if we want to find the longest proper prefix we pre process a pi table so what is a pi table a pi table is basically an array which is prepared over the given string which gives us the longest proper prefix at every index of the string so if i want the longest pre proper prefix for index 0 1 2 3 4 5 i will pre process those length those lengths of pre prefixes or proper prefixes into a separate array which i call as pi table or pi array so corresponding to this string s will have a pi table of length 1 2 3 4 5 6 of size 6 like equal to the size of the given string so let's prepare the pi table let's see how we can prepare it okay so let's keep two pointers first pointer at the very first index of the string second pointer i at the second character of the string and now compare these two characters that is we are checking for the longest proper prefix for a prefix of length 2 so we are checking for a b now for a b we can see that the character at i which is here b is not same as the character at zero which is here uh, that is a that means for index number 1 assign zero and for index number 0 we have zero by default and simply increment this i by 1 it becomes 2 so compare the character at index number 2 with the character at index number 0 they are matching that means for a prefix of length 3 these characters are matching so increment the alien by 1 it becomes 1 and assign it for this index i so for index number 2 assign 1 okay now increment this i by 1 it becomes 3 and increment this alien by 1 it becomes 2 so we have okay we don't have to increment okay we increment this i by 1 now compare the character at i which is character at index number 3 that is 0 1 2 3 this one with the character at index number 1 that is this one they are matching so b is matching with b so increment the alien by 1 it becomes 2 and assign it to that index so for index number 3 we would have 2 that means for a prefix of length 4 the longest proper prefix is of length 2 now move this i by 1 we move to character number 5 so we are here now compare this character with the character at index number 2 so they are matching this a is matching with a that means assign this length 3 for this position number 4 So position number four assign three. That is, for a prefix of length five, the longest happy prefix or the longest proper prefix is of length 
3 that is a b a a b a now again move this pointer i to 5 now compare the character at index number 5 with the character at index number 3 so 0 1 2 3 this is 3 compare this with this one they are matching so increment ln by 1 it becomes 4 and assign this for index number 5 so we put 4 here okay now this is my pi table after I prepare my pi table I want to know what is the longest happy prefix which I can get that is for this case it would be of length I can see that for this for this given string the longest proper the longest happy prefix of length 4 that is a b a b a b a b okay and 4 is the answer for this test case so it's just a matter of finding the pi table just compute the pi table and find the answer so this is the so let's see how we can build the pi table so after we have built the pi table it's really easy to get the given to get the given a uh, proper prefix because all we have to do is after we prepare this pi table just find the largest number the la longest proper prefix which we can have for that string and that is my answer okay that is my answer like in this case the longest proper prefix is of length 4 so we'll prepare a prefix of length 4 we'll start from very first index and we append four characters the first four characters of this string into an answer string and that will be my answer like here a b a b will be my answer fine and that's all so let's just see how we can so let's just see the implementation of this algorithm here we have our pi table function which prepares the pi table for the given pattern so we calculate the length of the pattern we initialize an array and resize it to the length of the pattern now initialize two pointers ln to 0 and i to 1 now iterate over the given pattern and check if the character at index number i is same as the character at ln if it is the case then increment the ln by 1 and assign that length for that index i and finally increment that i by 1 otherwise if the character at i is not matching with the character at ln then check if the ln is not 0 if the ln is not 0 then that means then assign that last index the assign that last index the longest proper prefix length for the given prefix which we have already evaluated otherwise initialize the pi table for that index where the character is not matching with 0 and increment i by 1 okay now that's what we have to do that's the that's the pre computation for pi table okay now I finally return this pi table from the end of this function now this is the longest proper pref prefix function or longest happy prefix function which takes in the given string calculate the pi table and initialize a string result which is the answer string and a variable max len initialize it to 0 and max ln is initialized to the last integer in this pi table and then iterate over the given string and check if the max if this becomes 0 then break that otherwise keep appending the characters of the given string and keep decrementing the length which we have calculated here and in this fashion we'll prepare a resultant string which will have length equal to the length of the given longest proper prefix in the given pattern finally we return that result at the end of this function okay like here in this case the answer is 4 we iterate for the very first four characters of this string that is a b a b and append them into the given resultant string so we append a b a b and that is my answer okay so I hope you got the idea let's just jump to the code implementation so here's so here is my solution class and this is my longest prefix function so let's calculate the pi table so vector pi 
which would be pi table which will be calculated like this and here we will have max len initialize it to the last element of the given pi table that would be s dot length minus 1 and finally iterate over the declare a string result and iterate over the given string s and check if max len goes 0 if it goes 0 then break the loop right there otherwise keep appending the characters and keep decrementing the max len and finally return that result at the end of this given function here in this pi table declare an array let's call it pi resize calculate the length of the pattern resize the pi table to the length of the given string or pattern so resize it to n declare two pointers i 1 and len initialized to 0 iterate over the given string so while i is less than less than the length of the given pattern which is n compare the character at i so character at i would be pattern i if it is same as the character at len then increment len by 1 and assign this len for for that index i so it is like this now increment i by 1 otherwise if len is not 0 then if it is not 0 if it is 0 then simply assign 0 for that index and increment i by 1 finally at the end return the pi table which we have prepared ok so that's how we calculate it let's just see ok it got accepted let's submit this code ok it worked so let's 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 analyze the time and space complexity we can see that we are preparing the pi table and the time complexity for this would be big of n where n represents the length of the given pattern because here in this while loop we are iterating over the pattern while the complexity for this one it is big of n which is the length of the given string so the overall time complexity becomes big of n while the space complexity is also big of n because we are using a pi table ok so I hope you got the solution that's all for this video if you like the video then hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned with me with more such videos and I hope to see you all in my next video